I'm not in a hurry. You're not. Well, you just will be. Let's drink some coffee. Um, there's 71 counties that are doing the co commercial interest state, so I just highlighted them for kind of a visual. Perhaps not. No, I was kind of disappointed the ones yeah. south of me. But I kind of think it's an education thing. I, I bet next year more will. I mean, I don't know. But since there was a pretty good response to it, I bet more people will come on. But they didn't pick up any more IRP counties, and that was offered to counties that wanted to do it. And no other IRP counties came on, so I kind of thought they might pick up a county or two. Well, I thought it was going to be that those are doing uh, ARPs were, would be doing the, the interest state. It so was, but then they decided then they to open. It. Yeah. Yeah. They thought, um, they wanted to give the treasurer more power than the option to yeah. offer that service to their local people. I'd like to call for an executive session for non-elected personnel for 20 minutes. I make a motion we have an executive session for 20 minutes for everybody here present. Yeah. Second. Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah. I'll move to second for an executive session for non-elected personnel for 20 minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. One thing that floors me about working around the courthouse is the appearance of the uh, I'm trying to think of most shocking thing I've discovered. I know there's something else I've been meaning to tell you guys, but I can't remember. Um, it never fails after the meeting stuff. Oh, I should. Oh, we'll, we'll be here most of the morning. So mm -hmm. you think about it. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> would you like to? Uh, Donate anything for a door prize for my district meeting. Oh, remember, you have to come Tuesday. What? Welcome. Next Tuesday. Right. How what? about if, how about if we get some Stafford County District? What time do you want to get there? Oh, yeah, the Clay has to be there for the welcome. Um, nine o'clock. Is, is this before donuts or after? But you can come a little earlier to have donuts. Yeah. <laughs> and mingle. Yeah. We set to mingle. Yeah. 8.30? We'll probably start the meeting, the welcome around 9. But yeah, you can come around 8.30 if you want to have donuts and social. Do you have to be there? No. Okay. But it would, look it would awesome. be really nice if you all three could show up. Tuesday. 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 You know next Tuesday. I know you like donuts. I don't like donuts. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> creams. Where's that? Annex? Yeah, I'm the Annex. If it rains, I'll be there. Um, I don't know. You got hats or? Yeah. Hats. Mud. Mud. I don't have anything. That's fine. Uh, I can see. Look <laughs> how a bag of seed will work. That <laughs> might have a little dirt in there. <laughs> 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 Regional. It's it's the South, South Central, Central District. Kind of all of these counties in here. Okay. All right. Usually they'll say things like do some highlights about our county. You know, like I would talk about. Yeah, just Vera, 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 I thought we were just going to say. Bill. I thought we were just going to say welcome. Um, Glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, you, you can. I, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, your soda fountain thing. Maybe yeah, yeah I would mention that. There. Yeah. I would get the, the visitor's guide 
and yeah, you should do give me one of those. <laughs> yeah. And do a formal. Do you have some? Or they're out of the shed. Yeah. Mike will bring us a box. You if you see him telling him to throw four boxes in there, my back, my pick up, I back to five other doors. So we want to go back. But he could bring a box up here. Yeah, because we usually hand out brochures. I, I do want you have some bags. Yeah, I'll probably get some bags and hand out to everybody. I might have some of those. I was wondering if you had any more of those. Okay. I got it. I got it. No, I don't just. <laughs> you ran all the time. Bradley brought me some over after the table. I didn't hear that. Well, I mean, I just. Oh, jeez. I'll look. I'll look for those. Yeah, if you have some. If not, I'll just go get Dylan Sachs or something. Oh, that'd be terrible. It's much more, much more refined than Dylan's. But yeah, I wanted a brochure about Quivera and, you know, that's usually what they do. They hand out information brochures on your little soap pack. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. See ya. Steve Moody's not gonna be here today. He asked me to pass these out to you. Um, he's needing to renew his software for his fire department. Um, the emergency reporting He's used this for a couple of years and it's really nice software. The cost is $1,068. So this is a renewal? Yeah. Software for $1,068. Second button. Right over here. It's been moved in second. Um, the re renew this uh, <coughs> annual software expense. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I guess initial one of these. Okay. Make a motion for three minutes from the September 14th. Second. Been moved and second. We uh, approved the minutes of the last yeah. meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried.
tried it twice after that I can remember.
I mean, what I, I, I guess what I want to ask you guys is, like, Rush County made resolutions that, you know, them guys couldn't put a bulldozer out there and a hook on it when it was wet conditions. And them roads out there are sensitive. I mean, it, we're, we're just working with gloves and the beds. And they come up there and they offload their bulldozer on Leesburg or and then they just rode it down the road and they pulled the rigs around and they wouldn't even take, of course that guy on the bulldozer is a different company completely, but he wouldn't even take his equipment down there. And now we've got corn harvest coming on and now the farmers are worried about getting the crops out. I mean, they, the farmers there knew it was sensitive to begin with, but these guys come in there when it was rain and they, you know, is going to move them rigs around no matter what. Did you then, contact Southwind or the drill? I have to see what the damages are, what they're willing to do. I have a personally, no, uh -uh. but uh, and, and that should be done. Yeah. But uh, you know that I think it's their responsibility to bring them back to the, you know, and it's to everybody's advantage. It's to the commissioner's advantage. It's to the oil company's advantage, it's to the guy, the pumper, it's to the service industry advantage, and you know, we're just, and farmers got to have the road, and we just, we just got in and inundated and caught off guard yeah. on this first go around, but there's 10 more, I understand, coming back in October, and I would, you know, I, the way I've been told, and I don't know, because I don't know who to contact, but in Rush County, they made it, you know, illegal to move heavy rigs around when the roads are wet. And they could possibly, in that resolution, give them a $10,000 fine for a month of road. And, and I don't know if that's right or not, but I've heard that we need the ability to, to turn, you know, get them back to the way they were before they came in. Do we have anything in place, Phil, that you know of? No, that I know. Is Rush, County Rush County is a county. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's. So Berger and Harper and all those guys have dealt with that recently. Yeah. <clears throat> but then you get there's aggravation there, you know, amongst the landowner because they they went out there and dug a swath across the road, drained a deal for three days, and drained down the road, and then goes on to. An alfalfa field, so you got people ready, farmer ready to go to fisticuffs <laughs> out there. <laughs> and you know, it's a bad situation, but I guess what I would like to see is maybe check out Rush County and get some resolution to dump and work. I know Joe's dealt with all kinds of Well, and I, I really think. If Southland's the one that's also responsible for tearing the roads up, I mean, that should be part of the, the damages, like, just like they paid the land up. I mean, yeah. And, and I, I think that they need to be notified immediately to see what can be done with what they, and I don't know how bad it is, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> this one has got to be something that comes from, say, the county instead of the individual township. I mean, I agree. If we don't have a re resolution and we're going to have is these issues with, with the drilling that we're having in the county, because it's not only in your neck of the woods, it's all over. And, and I think. Yeah, and it's probably going to become more it's of an issue, become less of an issue. issue. <laughs> well, I know that Ellsworth passed some resolutions, you know, because of wind farms. Mm -hmm. But they, of course, they knew that it was coming, so they had time to put in some. No. So you think you think then the, the, the townships would have to have their own laws by township for Not this? Just their own but then we would have to have a resolution protecting our roads then from 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 what well, from what I'm well, gathering out of this. That's where our roads are. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah. If, if they unload a bulldozer on our roads, um, 
yeah. hopefully our sheriff is going to be yeah, here before they, that before they need to, it. you know. Well, it should be no different than the township road. Yeah, they're still carrying out public I mean, road. yeah, if, if whether it's a township road or our black yeah. top, it don't matter. I mean, they're still getting tore up. Yeah, they're still turning up the public. I mean, it's criminal. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, know, I mean, I don't know what the charge would be. I mean, I'm not aware. <laughs> I can call Rush County and get those resolutions. I don't know if you find the county is doing that, find out how they went about it. Because they found themselves in Harbor. Harbor would be too good. Harbor County. Harbor County. Harbor County is, is, is not a county. Harbor County is a township. So they. they is that they, Kingman? Yeah. Well, Harbor might have a better way of knowing how they so dealt with it. Yeah. The yeah. Harbor County would probably be the most. Yeah. Try Barber County. Because Harper County is a county. But in order for us to get restitution now, and that. I think it's going to have to be from the township right now. Okay, but from the township or from the county attorney helping the township, I mean, how official do we have to be? Well, I would think Joe's had a lot of experience. He'd be. he would help you out on that. Yeah, but he. He's he might have very, to sign sign the papers. No, but it's been hard. I mean, he's been asked to call both these guys and he's never called. So how, how do you get him to act? Joe hasn't called. Joe has not called he's, either, he's been asked to call me two or three times. He's never asked to call me. So, you know, where does that leave us? We'll address that. We'll, we'll take care of that. <laughs> well, that's what we're, all we're trying to do to get something started. So yeah. Yeah. Because we can't afford to Right. Keep doing this all the time with the budget that our township So, what about the bridge? We'll start work. We're, we'll start repairs on that Monday. So that's a county bridge. Yes. yes. Yeah. Any, any, stru any, any structure that is twenty over twenty five square foot is belongs. Did they tear the bridge up too? The, the bridge has a broken at least one broken string. But caused by them. Yeah, it it's it. no. This because this would have been after that. So this is probably. It could be a number of, okay. it is a heavy load though. Okay. And the, the road down there is pretty sandy. I think they bounced up on it. It's, uh, that's it. You can slam it. Yeah. They've added to it. Yeah. Is that where the ambulance went the other night when somebody got stuck? There was ruts in the road six foot deep. Is that down there in Union? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen that road. Yeah, I just, it's <laughs> a, little, a little much. But this, but they I thought the know. guy trying to get out injured himself. I don't know he was digging with a shovel, but they sent the ambulance down there two or three nights ago. And he was stuck in the sand. Well, the well, sand's dry now, so it's yeah. too terrible. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, it's so dry. Well, yeah. I thought that well, might be down there. Take a car down that could, be, that could be a liability issue, too, if you get somebody stuck in that deep the same. I think, in um, my opinion, I would notify, have your board, or you guys notify Southwood or whoever the drilling company was, see what they're willing to do. And if that don't work for me, I feel we should get Joe, or if Joe will return your call, I think that's all we can. I think it'd be nice for Joe to talk to him first. But I think the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get. Big company like that, I'm not sure how the township would have much in. Well, I don't know. They want to come back and drill here the township. You could bear a candy for them. I know it's not going to change. Lost it. Yeah. I'm for it. Unfortunately. I mean, they'll. They'll run over you ready to stand up to them. They want to drill one on me. Try to get along. Well, that's what most of us are feeling. It's advantageous for everybody to get along. The only one that benefits Southwest, let's just go look on to this stuff, drag it in, drag it out, we're gone. And they're the ones making, you know, $600,000. They're the ones that can afford to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't notify them, I do think they'll try to run over you. Same way with yeah, a landowner. Well, so I was wondering, you know, at the time of the lease, if there'd be some stipulation, you know, that the township could enforce. You 
because you know they're coming. I know. So it's I've seen that. It's not going to be individual. Because isn't it true when they do the seismographic that if they tear up your field? Yes. They <coughs> smooth it down. I've still got ruts through wheat fields from last year. Well, just like they the, never did pay any damage. Like they were the, supposed to pay crop damages as well as just the right to go in. Mm -hmm. And that company never did pay crop damage. They did that on Sandy Lane. Did you see where CenturyLink ran the fiber off the cable out north of town here? You know, I pulled out of my driveway one day and the caterpillar was trenching in the line in Harold Edwards' soybean field and he was parked in the middle of it. I, I stopped the boss and I said, have you talked to anybody? Oh yeah, my secretary's called all the landowners from here five or six miles north and I said, well that's interesting because they never called me. And he, they just shut the keys off. And then they then they got on the phone and started calling. Uh, but they had not called anybody. Well, they didn't even have any written either or really written reason. Mm. He shut her down for an hour or two. Mm -hmm. But those guys will just you know if you don't the, they'll run over you if you don't. That's the only good thing with some of this fiber off if they're wanting to put it back on private ground and get out of the right away because the right ways are getting screwed. Call your land up. Stupid can you get? I'm calling anybody. Yeah. When I saw that caterpillar out in the middle of Harold Edwards, so it means about ready to beat that out. You were asking for trouble with your guys. <coughs> so the Harold Edward ever come up to see him? Not that I know of. No, oh, really? I went up and cut the ends out of my dryland cornfield so they'd go through there. That way we wouldn't even have to worry about damages. But if they'll just communicate a little bit with you, you could do that. He said, I'll give you an hour or two. So, <laughs> But it, the way this, with township set up, these resolutions would be useless for the township. Like these other counties that I've been told to do. Well, I think you can adopt one for your, your township, mm -hmm. but it'd be up to you guys to enforce it. How are we going to do that? Camera? <laughs> Culture. Well, see, that's why. They, that's why when they want, even when they do stop signs, they do it through the county. The commissioners do a resolution, mm -hmm. so the county sheriff can enforce it. I mean, that that that's why a resolution is that it has to be passed by the commission to set for them to set a stop sign down here, and that's why it's done that way. On that side, down whether whether well, well, I think that the township had a resolution, and then the sheriff would fall under, under that. I, I don't know. That's so. No, well, that's why we need yeah. Joe. Yeah. And he's dealt with this stuff. <clears throat> I know. He's talked about it. I've heard him say so. Well, in other words, we need communication from Joe before we do anything. Yeah. Unless we call the south. Yeah. And I apologize because I thought he was going to be here today. But we thought he was going to call. Yeah. We will have an answer. He will. <laughs> I don't think it hurt to call the drilling company myself. I mean, I think yeah. that's a start uh, at least. Go down, DG can get you contact information for that company. Uh, well, you at least got the document yeah, that you're trying to do something. Oh, Don, he can tell you who to call. Yeah, most of them are going to try to get along. Just yeah, I think yeah, they are. For a while, I mean, very seldom you know, get somebody. Especially if they're going to do them well. I did it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's like it the yeah. No. It was the timing. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of it's uh, been so long ago. Yeah. The deal over there pumping you to death. <laughs> and you don't realize any of this time. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, well, when they drain the water, it, just a new well in there. And he hadn't even got running yet. Got up that rain. And probably, I suppose there was three or four or five acres there all around that well, and about a foot and a half of water. So they cut in a ditch across the road. Now, when a guy's coming down the road, our roads, it's 
pothole country and it's sand, so you'll have two or three muzzles to just drive through. So somebody's coming through there at night, or kids are playing at night, and they're driving through them mud holes, and they're only yay deep, and they come by this one. And Bruce said he took three feet of field to bring it back up to normal. So the guy comes driving through there, 55 miles an hour, like the jack on water trucks run, 65 miles an hour. Hit the other side of it, though, it's through the windshield. Is it the township? Is it me? Who's responsible? Am I responsible? Yeah, you're going to be partly responsible. Yeah. Is the township responsible, even if you didn't know about it? I don't know. Yeah. That's, I mean, you can. I mean, after I knew about it, I did yeah, after you the situation. Know. But something could happen before you just don't yeah. listen. Don't listen to yeah. no beer man. <laughs> yeah. If somebody takes a stop sign down in your township and somebody runs through it and you knew the stop sign was down, you're liable. That's a bad thing. Usually personally or township. Township. If you usually have an appropriate amount of time to respond to the yeah. time to place the sign. Someone someone will say it, it depends. Usually within a twenty four hour period. I mean, therein lies another problem with setting up signs. I don't know. Did you put road closed on the Please one on the black top? Yeah. Oh, down there up the bridge in the old yeah, black top. Yeah, somebody took Stole decided, it. Somebody decided it. Yeah. And think, oh. They thought they needed this. If you set out a road close sign <laughs> on a tire that, that's mobile, oh, well, we need to need stop signs. That's good for the rest of the time. Take them, and they might, they might not all. keep them. With them. I found ours in another township. They're just driving down the road to Omaha somewhere else. I mean, that's problematic. Barricade deal is still here. No, I didn't. I figured they'd steal the lights. <laughs> well, so we'll do the resolution down quick if we can anyway. Try to get Joe to talk to you guys. I mean, a resolution on your part doesn't do anything with us. We've got to talk to the, the county attorney and get Union Township to adopt a resolution. Right. Joe should be able to answer the question. Some questions. Barbara Crown does. We can adopt a resolution. Yeah, Barbara Crown can do
I hope to make it two more days than we'll be there. Hopefully. Um, we'll make it copies of yeah, Lisa's making copies. Uh, first, of all, I want, first of all, I want to thank Kirk and Shane for coming over last Friday and visiting with you and I and unravel some of the mysteries of what we're doing. We appreciate that. Uh, we feel like it went well and, uh, and, uh, and what we do to do. Yeah, I'm very hopeful. It's been a long, hot summer, so uh, we have financial remember that <laughs> summer is a slow time. Always so. <laughs> look at that.
No, they're not. Uh,
outpatient other was up to 313 in June and 301 in July. We had 19 clinic specialties in June and then up to 34 in July.
We've actually been cleaning up a lot of old accounts that Julie's been going through them and getting diagnosis codes fixed. And I hope in the next month you'll see a big turnaround on them with Amy taking over and doing different things there. Some of it has made some of it lag just a little bit while we worked on other areas, but this month I'm hoping to send in a lot of stuff and you said a high change kind of help. Yeah. Then what I mean, she's still already so what she doesn't know we're having someone come in who's Angie Martin who is like the guru. <laughs> She's going to come and sit with Julie and go through questions and hopefully we'll get a lot of it cleaned up. Our 
getting more of those paid will help. And then we'll just need to watch our expenses. I mean, in the past history, you see like the next is it six months that you're generating is where your income is generated from to help with that? Or do you think, you know, you go through a lot of expenses during the summertime and not a lot of income in the summertime? Summer's always the slow months. Yeah, the summer. Yeah. Um, Paper documentation floating back and forth. So 
that's how we will get claims sent out the door. I think in my conversations with you, we were talking a little bit about these older accounts and what to do with them. I, that's one reason I would like to have Joe here in looking at, you know what the statute of limitations for sending the bill is? I know our um, ARSI, our collection company, company won't um, take anything after five years. Oh, you, does anybody know? I think it's three years for statute. Of I don't think that's so. a statute of limitations. But I think there is in Kansas. I, don't I know for my past dealings, it's two years. Well, I tried to look it up. I think the Kansas statute well, I don't know if the medical or EMS falls under medical. Medical has different classification. I don't know. We can ask Angie Martin when she comes out. She's coming out the 27th. Mm -hmm. sure. I mean, one thing I shared with Todd on a phone call yesterday, and I don't know if you related to you, Julie, but I think these old accounts, instead of a surprise bill in the mail, we send a letter with each individual statement explaining, you know, whether what it is, what it is. you know, yeah. whether it's your, you know, this is your deductible from that year, or um, this is your responsibility because of this. I mean, I don't, I, it's a brainstorm I had over the weekend after I got over the sticker shock <laughs> of, of the number and trying to figure out a way to collect it. Um, I don't know, the same thing, a letter of explanation might help a little bit. And I think that would calm some feelings too. I, there's going to be a lot of angry people if we send out bills from, as we know, <laughs> I mean, as, as we found out already. Um, I, I really think that, you know, a letter of explanation or something like that would, would help cushion the board a little bit. On account how far back? I would, I would, I mean, from where we drew a line, um, from what we just wrote off, I mean, that was 86, was it 86,000 either? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would, I think we should try at least from that point, because basically, you know, I believe 2009 was when Steve started employment with, with the county and I mean if, as, as director I feel you know he should be ultimately responsible from a, that date forward you, you know and, and as far as the manager of that department goes at least we have knowledge of what it was you, you know if he since he, he has been here so I mean the, the old stuff where he had no idea. But I think we need to try every resource we can to, and my personal opinion, as, as I you know, try everything we can in our power to collect this, or at least clean it up the best we can. And I think a letter of explanation would, on a, on a, I know it's going to take you an immense amount of time, yeah. you know, to research each, and maybe that's something Misty can help you with. I don't know. Uh, I. I think in the um, next couple months, um, we worked out a lot of issues um, with um, NPRA numbers, um, just a lot of forms. Um, so I think I'm. You'll see 2011-2012 drop quite a bit. A lot of those are um, secondary payments that you know are hanging out there. I think it is possible to get the number down. Yeah. It's the old ones that are really going to upset people. Mm -hmm. And my first thought was, let's just write them off. But then the more I thought about that, I thought, you know, those people really owe that bill. You know how it is if you don't get a bill from man, you don't call anybody. But if you get an extra bill from man, <laughs> you always call somebody. So, I mean, I still think it's our responsibility to try to collect some of those, but I but I would like to know from an attorney's point of view where that statute of limitations is because if it's not enforceable to collect after three years or two years, whatever it is, mm -hmm. then I don't think we ought to send them out. Right. I 
think we need a little more information. I wish Joe was here. I, I did visit with another attorney, and he thought the statute of limitations was three years, but he also said it doesn't hurt to send them a bill. <laughs> you can't do anything, but you yeah. might get your money. That's I, what, that I, was and, his and, advice. And I think on the old ones that, that we don't have a way to send up, if we send a letter and say, this is what happened, this is why you haven't got a bill, under the circumstances, maybe you'll get some of it. Maybe you'll get some of it. Yeah, maybe you'll we'll get none of it and you laugh at it. I don't know. But I mean, I, like in, in 2009, you had 56 people, or 56 mm -hmm. claims. Outstanding, right? Go ahead and read this. These have, been, these have been satisfied. Yes. And this is what is left. Yes. So, in 2009, there's approximately 55, 56 people for cases that were able to I know that's not going to make your job any easier. Don't you got any? It's also good to... You, you think these numbers here that you have broke out by year, I like that. Do you think uh, those are fairly accurate um, from, as from of, the reports? Yes, I mean, that's what... I just exported what we um, QuickBooks into an Excel spreadsheet and it just broke them out. Okay. Good. Do they have all those write-offs of that 86,000 off of QuickBooks now? Did they take them out? Um, there are, everything is off other than um, two, which um, through QuickBooks, the way that it was entered um, way back prior on those accounts, a lot of them were listed as being in the Kansas set-off program. When we double checked that, um, a lot of them were not. Um, there were um, two accounts that um, they were able to collect on. So I have left those right. in there with a total of six hundred ninety-two dollars and twenty-two cents. I know right after that we have some settlement money on one of those cards. That's what those are. Well, at least they're trying. Yeah, I and mean, we were getting an idea one right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would like to. Um, say these people have gotten bills that um, because when I did it in my office so going back to 2009 when I did it in my office they, they've gotten them maybe they haven't got any recently but I just don't want you guys to think oh they haven't got a bill since 2009 so I just want to let you when, know when did you quit doing that I think it was a year and a half ago. Nita, do you remember? I think it was in 11, wasn't it? The end of 11? Yeah. yeah. End of 11. And I, sure. I, I they haven't sent out sporadically out there. I just don't have the documentation yeah. or anything to be able well, to that, read Well, that's, that's the phone calls we're getting. Yeah. Are, but know, now it's already I have an accident, up a lot of them. Some months later, I get a stay. Yeah. I get a bill. Well, when I was doing it, they were getting them every month. But, I think you could. And I, we got a lot of phone calls, too, when we started doing it. Right. I think Shane got to witness that when he was visiting with us. We had a yeah. patient from the hospital come in and say that she never received a statement. I was able to pull up and show him yeah. how many statements she had received. So, <laughs> so you think she was 27 she months ago, we got a bill? Yeah. 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 I did it monthly in my office. There was a couple months Misty and I couldn't get together, so I may have been a little late. But we did, Misty would come up and her and I, we did it monthly when I was doing it. So you think some of these in the last year or two is still insurance companies that's pending? Or has everything been satisfied? No, there's it? still money to work on, money yeah. to. Now, insurances, there's a limit on how far you can what is, how, how, how old is a year. A year? It's a, for a year from your last claim. I mean, some of them can go over a year if we've been working on it with them, but pretty much you have to have contact on a claim within a year. What you have on most of them? Um, or they have had? Yes and no. You will see some that um, um, that will have to be wrote off for um, like what they call timely filing. Because if, if, if it is that instance, then we cannot bill it to the patient. And then those will have to be taken off. So if there's not timely filing, is the patient responsible for that then, or does it have no, to be read? Has to be wrong. So when you do write-offs, um, 
are you going to let the commissioners know this is due yeah, to I have not done those. Time. I have um, a list of the ones we've gone through so far, but those have not been adjusted on the books. Okay. They're just not I think that would be good statement. information if there are write-offs. I think uh, we need to know. Uh, whether Julie's going to come each month when we come over to do the work and Julie's come with us. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that too long before you knew what? Be written off the whole month. Do we need to do it sooner? Um, it'll it'll be an ongoing thing as we figure out more. I mean, I can kind of give you what we have now, um, but it'll be an ongoing thing until everything is cleaned up. So that's not gonna. You don't think you need a directing before then as to what we're gonna write off? I guess is what. I'm... No. Okay. Just out of curiosity, can you tell this five months total is 235? Can you tell how much in those five years was ever paid in? What we collected? Um, there probably years? is a way, but I haven't messed with the. I've been, I've been trying to do more the billing and not as much of the financials. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what was collected? Can you yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we could pull up reports in the budgetary. From, from the last five years? Mm -hmm. I said, that's what I'm saying. You know, like these are, you know, misleading in some ways. Bringing this because, you know, example, 2009, yeah. 640. You know, if they, you, there's no check for 640 dollars by time adjustments and all that. You're not ever going to collect so. everything. No. no. I realize no. that. Yeah. yeah. I just, for general, thought I'd be nice to know what was collected. Mm -hmm. I can get some reports for you on that. And, and basically, as what Misty brings to me, then I receive into the county. So yeah, yeah. you would have got the check finally. So. All right. Yeah. And, you know, most times when you're starting on something, you start at the beginning and work your way through the end. With this, it's really been a different process. Like we kind of started at the end, the research and our mm -hmm. working way to the beginning to sending out the claims. So. Well, that is another thing we talked about, though. When we do get paid. How, how are we going to handle it, getting the money to you? Um, same process. Misty will bring it to me when the, she does. Doesn't the money still come to Misty? It will go there, but I will be doing the entry and um, bringing the remits and posting it to the accounts. So it will probably be on more of a weekly basis instead of a daily basis, just because for time, I mean, it's not worth driving well, over here every day. Well, we'll have to see, because end of the month, you'll have to get stuff to me. Well, yeah, I mean, for yep. a, situations like that, we'll have to make sure yeah. it's end of the month that you've received your stuff in time, but we'll yeah. go on a weekly basis instead of, I know she brings up her daily, we'll just have a nice little box there that says Julie. And no, nobody's told me if they have any change of process, so as far as I'm concerned, there's no change of process that's coming to me. Yeah, it'll still come to you, but um, but as far as like where it's entering into the computer and getting the checks to you, I'll bring those up here. Um, You'll bring the checks to me. Mm -hmm. So are you going out to the EMS building and posting them? Yes, they'll still be sent there. I'll come over here. Um, one the day. checks are not going to go in the hospital. No, right? no, no, okay. no, no, no. I'll come here so over here. Amos. The day that we can do it. Okay. That way, all the paper stays here, and everything will be doing from the hospital and electronic. That's what we talked about, you know. No, Steve hadn't told me about that. Um, it was, I mean, it's kind of been a decision that we've made. I brought up that it's not daily. It's not. It doesn't count. You drive over here daily to do it. How often do you like it twice a week? It, it, it depends on the week. Sometimes it's twice a week. Sometimes it's once a week. Sometimes we'll I'll have to skip a week depending upon what my duties at the hospital are. But with this, yeah, we'll have to make sure that it is done. Sorry. And is that something like if you're not there, I'm gonna miss it and step in? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just said yes. I'll be going maternity leave in February, so that's the good part. Is she is there? If I am gone for any reason, then she can you know step right back in. And, Take care of things. Versus, then she can post them and say, "Hey, Steve, or or even, yeah. if Misty wants to, or even, the, or even if, if Lisa can hold the check, I'd rather I'd rather the checks be held in, in Lisa's office. That's fine. Then, then at, I think it's the one less spot 
We should have it. No. Well, we'll no. Have it. I don't want to have a situation where, oh, we forgot about this. No more places they yeah. have to stop the chances. So you want the, the check mail to Lisa? From the I think it's something like if I get a bill, do I mail my check to Lisa or do I mail it to EMS? I mean, mail it to EMS. EMS like it has been. But is what we could And I can't, I mean, they want to bring them up here daily. I'm fine with that. And then maybe said the week, uh, once a week we can get together and make sure we balance. No, I don't need to. No. Once a week we can. I just don't want to have Julie have to spend 30 minutes a day driving back and forth from Stafford to St. John to do for two checks. For two right. checks. Right. Right. Or, you know, when you can image them, send them over to Neil, mm -hmm. and she can sit there in two seconds and see them. Uh, you know, and then we hold them the checks either at EMS office or they're brought to Lisa every day and Lisa holds them until Julie says, you know, we're going to accept these checks and these are from this insurance company or not. I mean, it's kind of a complicated process. Yeah, because you don't want to be depositing checks and, and it's wrong and then you're going to turn around and reverse it. it and or most insurance companies, if you cash your check, you're accepting payment. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it's kind of yeah, a trick. And I, I wouldn't deposit anything until I know it's posted properly in, in the bookkeeping. That's, you got to get that posting done first because if there's a problem, like you say, you got to return that check and ask for a different check. Yeah. So. I think I, the I less just, people you have handling the checks, the better off. Right. 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 Yeah. The better off we're all going to be. I don't know. I don't have to. I mean, I have to help brainstorm it, but I don't actually have to do the work, so I don't know what's what's the easiest for everybody involved. What do you think? Um, I mean, I'm always open for changes. We can try it, and if it doesn't work, we can always go in. But I mean, that that is the way that I mean I would prefer from the beginning is just doing it all and just being able to handle everything and being able to see them, post them, bring them up here, make sure that you and I are on the same page balancing with what we're wanting deposited. And Do you want the check sent to you? I, I no, no that, that's not an issue for me. I would rather them be over here and then I just come over it. here. I think you'd have Changing less the address. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. yeah. every insurance company, yeah. everything, you're still going to get we're stuff going every place. Address. On the <laughs> Medicare stuff, they come to me. Wow. Still, because they didn't want to change that address, and then they just come up and get them. Which is a big deal. But Misty so, usually goes online and gets those Medicare Yeah, she can get them before yeah. we get the paper. Mm -hmm. But they do send those to my office. And I usually email Misty when I have the Medicare remittance in the bank, and then she gets me the posting right away. You know, as time goes, there are more efficient ways. I don't want to change a ton of stuff in the beginning, but I would hope that as we go, we can do more of them electronic and not as many paper to where you'll just get I'm it. I'm not going to take on any more responsibilities <laughs> this time unless we want to negotiate some other th items. But it would, it would just take a step out of the process. It would just automatically put in and then we I have, start. I have that's so, so much, so much in the future. tracking is so much more than what you, it's so more complex. And But yeah, we want to sit down and negotiate other options for me. Well, I think as you go along, yeah. you might think, oh, maybe this would work. Yeah. 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 It'll be a growing process. We can make yeah. it simpler. That's yeah. Yeah. For, for everybody. I would, I would say leave. If you see something that would work better, come talk to us. Yeah. Communicate, Communicate with us. Yeah. Yeah. We don't see all that stuff day to day, but you you deal with it every day. You need to come see us if you'd like to see something or is some way we could improve it. Keep the lines of communication open. Well, I guess you guys do the same thing. I have those working at Pratt and at Stafford. When you get paid electronically, you get paid a lot faster than having to wait on them to cut a check and it's getting mailed. You get that money faster. The thing is, we always see it a month or two or six months down the road. Yeah. Not, you see it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I do agree with that. Um, but, if, but it is a lot of yeah. When I have electronic money, I 
when I get that and I call you saying I have money of five hundred dollars, then I want you posted and getting that to me. And if that's not going to be done in a timely manner, that, then we're not going to take the ACH in a timely manner. But that's I mean I just I differ down the road. I mean when we yeah. get that bridge, we can <laughs> because I um, is is what happens um, when we get audited. The, the auditors say, how come you got more money in your bank than in your books? And I have to receipt that the day I get the money in the bank, I should technically have a receipt into the bookkeeping for the county that day. So everything's always in balance. So the auditors get on me for for that. So that that's where a lot of that. So that gets into the timely thing. If you got to do it every day, you're going to have to do it every day. It can't be the once a week thing, things like that. So it gets a little bit more complex. And we actually had a, a situation a couple of years ago, the end of year audit, that we had that gap, and the auditors really had to adjust the, you know, make adjustments. But they really asked me and quizzed me over it, so it didn't look good. <laughs> Well, I think as long as we just, you know, just keep in communication with it, you know, yeah. if it's not working, we'll, we'll do it differently. Yeah. So that vice versa. But, but that's so what comes into problems. play when you have ACH, yeah. then yeah. we're going to have to do that. You'll you probably figure out of it. Yeah. yeah. If I get a $500 deposit for EMS, then I need a, a posting sheet from you that day. Same way with health department. When I get money from them, I call them and they get it to me that day. Okay. So that way I can receive it into the books for the county. Okay. Cool. <laughs> We're averaging what? Thirty plus <laughs> billion <laughs> per month. On new ones. I'd say almost say less than that. Twenty five. Yeah, twenty five to thirty, 20 to 30 in there. Need somewhere around here. So it's not a No. Once we get the huge. whole process figured out and it running smooth, it shouldn't difficult but and the biggest problem is, is is doing the research of why the claim was denied is just finding out why it's why. still there yeah. I really have not found a lot of denials um, it's just been a lot of it's just been either posting problems or like I said, a lot of it's been um, we really revamped QuickBooks to give us all the documentation we needed so it's there and accessible so that we're able to get things out timely. A lot of just been documentation. Okay. Um, when you send out billings, one thing that that I do with tax statements and when I get the EMS thing, I, I put address service requested on the envelope. Do you guys do that? Or do you put return service requested? Address service requested is if the bill the letter goes to the person it's the wrong address the post office will send you a card with the correct address but they charge you 50 cents if you do return service requested you get and it's got to be stamped on the envelope return service requested is you'll get the envelope back with the correct address then and then you can redo the envelope and remail it um, you go at the hospital. I don't know if the EMS ones do. We get that, stuff back without. That's that. really that might be something you guys look at because it's really helpful. I know with the EMS department, sometimes you don't get a lot of the right addresses and their transient people. You know, they're moving around a lot, or and that I found a lot of addresses for EMS when I was doing it just by putting that. It cost me fifty cents, but it was worth it. It was worth it, and then they go ahead and mail it, but they give us the card saying this is a change of address, and then I would put it in the QuickBooks system, and I would know uh, received address service from uh, Postal Service, and I would date it and put my initials. I don't know if you've seen any of those notes in there, but um, that, that really helps, because I know a lot of the time, we're just not getting the bill to the right address. What we're using now is we do use the internet, you know, resources. If we give, in yeah. fact, we try our best to try and locate the person yeah. or find them. That too. And then um, if not, if the person we can't locate and we receive it back, 
then we go ahead and turn them over to um, ARSI and they will try and find them for us. That's helpful. If you've had somebody that's moved in the last year, you'll catch it within the year. So it's just a suggestion. Anything else you guys can think of? Good job. Thank you much. Thank, Thank you for all your hard work, Billy. Yeah. Keep it up.